Welcome to the Gaja Home Barista Academy. We would like to share with you the secrets of traditional coffee specialities to relive every day at home with the barista's rituals. Today, we will explain how to prepare a creamy cappuccino based on the traditional recipe. Cappuccino is one of the most beloved Italian drinks in the world. It is composed by equal parts of espresso, hot milk and milk froth. Let's start with the milk froth. That is fundamental in making a perfect cappuccino. Milk froth needs to be homogeneous, shiny and uniform like a cream, consistent and with no bubbles. After two or three attempts, the right equipment and a little effort, you will become experts in preparing cappuccino. For a good milk froth, the secret is to use high quality cold whole milk. Before frothing, it is important to slightly move the steam wand outwards in order to insert the jug directly under it. Now it's time to switch the classic gaja on. When the on-off and coffee temperature lights are steady, you can start to brew an espresso in a large cup, following the traditional recipe to make Italian espresso. Then press the steam button. When the steam temperature indicator light turns on, the classic is ready to deliver steam to froth milk. Turn the steam hot water knob slightly counterclockwise to eliminate any condensation from the wand, then close the knob again. Start by putting the steam wand in the jug, half filled with cold milk, so that it is just a few millimeters below the surface and close to the sides, not in the middle with the right angle to make a consistent swirl. Turn the steam knob at the maximum level. During this phase, there is maximum air absorption. When the milk froth increases, maintain the steam nozzle immersed in the milk and not in the foam and avoid touching the bottom of the jug. Once you get the perfect froth, push the steam wand to the bottom to warm the milk. Then turn off the steam dispensing knob. Once you have finished to froth the milk, we suggest to gently pound the jug on the counter and let it rest for at least 30 seconds. The result is textured, velvety and smooth. Now it's time to put your cappuccino together. At this point, pick up the jug with the frothed milk and make a rotary movement for a few seconds to revive the emulsion. Now, slightly tilt the espresso cup and pour the milk froth and the underlying hot milk in it, starting from the center. Now your Italian cappuccino is ready to taste.